the story of Onyegin, Tatiana, a young girl living in a very remote part of the countryside, reading, 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 as adolescents do, reading romantic literature, absolutely full of it. Her um, sister Olga being courted by Lenski, and one day Lenski comes to tea and he brings a friend and he brings Onyegin, and in an instant she knows that this is him because she's read enough books and enough poems to be sure. So very impulsively that very night, all by herself in the moonlight, she writes a love letter to him saying, you are the one. Onyegin turns up and there is an excruciating exchange where he puts her in her place and says, you shouldn't do that. You don't know what I am. You haven't met me. The young girl shouldn't do that. You're wrong. And she's mortified. I think the opera as a whole will give you a complete portrait of the, of, of the human condition, possibly viewed through the frame of the young approaching life and approaching love for the first time. It's just so rich um, in the emotional domain because of the music, um, because of the situations that the characters are in. What matters is that there's a beauty in the evening and there is certainly a, a great beauty in Tom's sets. There's an iced lake with a fallen tree for the Lansky jewel. There's um, the very final scene. We, we, we made a choice to place that outside. It's often indoors and it's snowing and the final scene between the two of them is in a true Russian snowstorm. And There's a tremendous beauty in the evening. So the, the costumes, um, we've drawn on, on um, the composer's period rather than the writer's period. So 1820, 1830 for Pushkin and, and say 1880, 1890 for Tchaikovsky. Probably we've embroidered that uh, uh, idea with veering towards clothes, not costume. And they're wonderful clothes. They feel real. They, you feel you're walking directly into the period. What most matters to me here is the pursuit of truth. You know, this is on a par with Chekhov. It is, it is absolutely the same territory. You want to believe these people are, are, are living and breathing and feeling utterly, honestly, truthfully, and costume is an essential, essential part of that. I have very great singers at the Met and very great actors in those singers. It's absolutely fantastic to work with Anna on this piece. The moment that I heard there was a possibility of her doing this, I was absolutely overwhelmed with delight. I mean, here we have one of the greatest living singers of all time, plus we have a major actress. But I, I think if you get this right, it's an overwhelming evening, and it's hard to say why. It's just life. Life's overwhelming. Passions are overwhelming. What matters is that, that, that we absolutely affect the, the hearts of the audience. <laughs>